in French Guiana is home to Europe's spaceport. This Ariana space rocket is about to be launched. We have a red. The mood in the control center is tense. From the launch complex. Uh, At this stage, even the smallest mistake can have major repercussions. The future of MT Aerospace depends on the success of the launch. The Augsburg-based company has already suffered a setback in the shape of a failed Ariana launch. In 2002, a rocket self-destructed three minutes into the flight. Production was temporarily suspended, leading to layoffs and reduced working hours. Toy, toy, toy. Knock on wood, the last 35 Ariana starts were all successful. So at this point, I no longer get quite so nervous, nor do my colleagues. This is part of the tank. When it's complete, it'll be twice as tall. Each Ariana rocket has two tanks, which are filled with solid propellant and act as boosters. MT Aerospace is one of the main parts suppliers for European carrier rockets. 10% of them are made in Augsburg. The production runs for the rockets are small but high tech. The bottoms of these tanks are precision engineered to fit the rocket's other components, which are supplied by other companies across Europe. The actual rocket is assembled in Kourou. A file is kept on each component, documenting every stage of the manufacturing process and recording which company is responsible for what. It's a system that maximizes reliability. Reliability means the launch takes place when it's scheduled to. The contracts are signed with Ariana Space two or three years in advance. A relatively narrow window of opportunity, a few days for the launch, is agreed upon. Obviously, clients need this reliability because they want to generate turnover with the satellite. Satellite operators pay some 150 million euros for an Ariana launch. That's a lot more than what they'd pay to the Russian competition. Even so, most clients opt for Ariana space because it's so reliable. The order books are full at MT Aerospace. For the next few years, the company will be busy working on 35 new rockets, business worth 350 million euros. Ariana plans to send even bigger cargoes into orbit in the foreseeable future. This means the rocket itself has to be slimmed down. The engineers are on the job. Even now, the outer shell of the rocket is so thin that it wouldn't be able to stand upright with an empty tank. There's not very much scope to reduce its weight further. This will eventually be made into a tank bottom. It takes weeks just to mill out its many recesses. In the end, it will weigh just a tenth of its original weight. There's no margin for error. This component is worth several hundred thousand euros. The engineers are already mulling over how the rockets can be made even more sophisticated and fit for the future. These two structural components have a huge influence their efforts are necessary. Telecommunications satellites are becoming increasingly heavy, and the competition is catching up. In five years' time, the U.S. and China are also planning to introduce large carrier rockets to the market. In the case of India, it looks like it might take a bit longer, seven to ten years, before the large carrier rocket they're currently developing is ready to compete with Ariana. The more powerful version of the Ariana is expected to reach the launch pad in Kourou by the middle of the decade. That's when the engineers' work will be put to the ultimate test.